Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome back to another tutorial. In this one, we're going to do uh, denoising. Some people have asked how it works. Does it work in the viewport? Uh, how do you render with it? It works pretty well if you have enough samples. Um, if you're really just trying to be, I mean, be quick and have really low samples and just use the denoiser, it's not going to work that well. It's going to be pretty blotchy. But if you get a decent amount of samples in there where the image looks pretty clean and then enable it, it, it really shouldn't look that bad. Um, ours are going to look bad because I'm going to test it with some low samples. That way you guys can really see the difference. But let's, uh, let's see here. So what you do is add a camera, go to your camera tag not tag, tab, and um, enable denoising. And then I think this one's already enabled, uh, denoise on completion. And then you need to come in here, and it, yours will probably look like this. Expand passes, and denoiser, just select beauty. And what this will do is we're going to do a quick 100 sample render right here. So you can see all over the floor, uh, it's all uh, pixelated and it's got hot spots all over. So go to your Octane viewport and since you selected that pass over here, that just popped it up down here. And when it's green, that means it's done. So if you go to it, it is noise free, no hot spots. Now it's blotchy, but we, I mean, it was kind of doing a lot. That's to be expected. Then it also works with volume. So I'm going to bring this cube down. We're going to render. And again, it's going to be blotchy, but, uh, it, you know, it's going to get the point across. So we're almost at 100. There we go. Now we're at 100. Must have closed out my viewport. Show Octane viewport. Go to Denoise. There we go. And just just look at here. Ignore the the space around. You guys see that difference? And again, we're asking it to do a lot. That's a really noisy scene. I mean, I would I'd probably go 500 to 700 samples on that before I enable denoising. Okay, so in order to save with it, go to your compositor. I was testing some stuff here, but we'll just start it over. All right. Come on, stop, go. Actually, you can just stop. So here we've got the image, and then we've got that denoise pass that we selected. So if we render, oh, come on that I always think it's gonna go over here and render uh, compositor I'll give this a sec all right it's noising it's done Pipe that in there. It is very noisy. Pipe that in here. It is less noisy. Now I was testing the Intel. Oops. I guess you just have to type in denoise. I was testing the Intel one. And it works really, really well with cleaning up the scene. But the problem is um, there's not, we didn't have a normal map pipe through so it doesn't pick up edges and it makes everything blurry so that's kind of kind of can't use this one so let's get rid of that if you want to save this before you render add a file output and we can just do a comparison here drop that in here drop that in here what we're going to do is we're going to go to desktop 
And then here was my other test. I'll delete those. And I'm going to name this one regular octane. And then what we'll do is we'll render again. And you can pipe another one into here. That way you can see it when it's done. But what this is going to do is anything that you select in here is going to add to here. And you can keep adding inputs. Drag those over, which I think I showed in the very first video that I did. The getting started with Octane, like that crash course that I have. Alright, so this is an 82 out of 100. It's denoising. There we go. Not sure why that's black. There we go. So if we go to my desktop, open up this folder, got the regular, and then the octane. There's the octane. There's a the regular. And hopefully this is coming through over YouTube. So yeah, uh, that's essentially denoising and how to save um, your denoise pass. I do recommend getting as many samples as you can uh, without, you know, really cutting into your time and then throwing on that denoiser. And again, you can preview it in the viewport here. Kind of make sure before you go ahead and render. So yeah, uh, if you have any more questions, let me know. Uh, next tutorial will be a full blown like follow along. We're going to build something, light it, texture it, render it. That'll be pretty awesome. So hopefully you subscribe and um, if you post anything cool, share a link in the, uh, in the comments and I can check it out and other people can check it out. So, all right. Have a good night guys. Bye.